What's up, you two people? I'm Fallout, and this right here is uh, the first of a series I'm starting called Scrim Highlights. So, in this first video, I just want to talk a little bit about the team, um, a tournament coming up called Hypestation, and that's about it. But uh, before anything, I want to explain what this is going to be. Basically, um, every night, my team, MBN the Business, or now NVS MBN, we scrimmage. So we practice against other top teams in preparation for tournaments, for online tournaments, whatever it is. Um, and you know something's wrong when I'm comparing football to video games, but kind of like a football scrimmage. It's just straight for practice. You can run new things, you can try new plays out, new strats, whatever. So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is every night, like I said, we do practice. So I'm going to make a video out of the scrim highlights against one team. So I'm going to take one or two rounds per map. Um, I wouldn't say it's the highlights, but one or two rounds per map, usually the, the last round, so you guys can see who won, whatever. And then um, I'm going to upload that video so you guys can kind of keep up with our progress and see how we're doing as a team, how we're progressing, how uh, much we're improving. So, um, right here, we're scrimming against the Insanes, which some of you guys have probably heard of them, a historically top Gears of War team, Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 2 national champions, um, a great team overall. They just had a roster change, similar to how we just had a roster change. So. Um, good matchup. First map is checkout. We end up losing checkout. Um, spoiler alert, I guess. My bad. But uh, yeah. So um, going into the into detail about my team, MBN the business. Let's see. Okay. So MBN has historically, like the Insanes, been considered a top team in Gears of War. Um, they've won championships before. Uh, they've gotten second place a million times. They've always really been considered to be a top three team. And uh, I actually just recently joined the team about a month ago. Prior to that, I was on Get Bronco, which uh, some of you guys probably know of, another top team in Gears 2. And um, just recently joined up with NBN due to Get Bronco kind of disintegrating. Get Bronco no longer really exists. Um, so yeah, so NBN the business placed first at MLG Columbus in Gears 2, um, second at Meadowlands, second at Dallas. You know, they're they're kind of right there all along the Gears War 2's life on the MLG circuit. A um, couple championships, whatever. So, you know, in Gears 3, we're looking to kind of match our success. We're looking very good so far. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the roster consists of myself, Nick Merckx, Prospect, and High Distortion. And to go into a little bit of detail about my teammates. Okay, so first and foremost, Nick Merckx. A couple of you guys know, probably most of you guys know Nick Merckx by now. Um, one of the most consistent, skilled, overall great players in Gears War 3. Probably a top three player, or top ten player for sure. Maybe even a top three player, who knows. But uh, very good gameplay, great Lancer, great shotgun, just a great player overall. Um, he just recently left the Insanes to join MBN actually, so um, a lot of team drama going on with that. A little, little rivalry we got going on, so that's pretty big. Um, secondly, we have Prospect. <coughs> Prospect is the team captain. Um, honestly, one of the smartest and most intelligent guys I've ever met in my life. You know, in, in games especially, he is our uh, our strategical genius, if you will. He's uh, He creates the strats for us. He creates pushes. He calls things out mid-game. He's just a really, really overall intelligent player. Um, also a great shotgun, one of the, probably the best sniper in Gears 3. Uh, not to ride my own teammates, but I, I personally think so. You know, no bias or anything. Um, and then finally, we have High Distortion, also known as the Silverback, because he looks like a Silverback. He's ripped. Um, so we call him the Silverback. And uh, he is our team's host. Now, so uh, some of you guys might not know, in Gears 3, yeah, there's dedicated servers, but in private games, there are no dedicated servers, so there still is a host, and uh, that plays a huge role in Gears. So each team has a host, and um, that player is usually one of the most the most skilled player of the team most of the time. You know, they can make a lot of plays, because host advantage is huge. You can really abuse it, um, and it kind of is a role in Gears of War. So he plays our team's host role, and uh, a great overall player. can make plays at any time. Very great shotgun, exciting to watch. Also one of the best support players and Lancers in the game as well. Um, and that pretty much wraps up our team. And then you got me. Uh, some of you guys know a little bit about me already. I recently just joined the team, like I said. I was formerly the team captain of Get Bronco. So similar to Prospect now, I made all the calls and the strats and did a lot of big things with Get Bronco alongside Affinity. And, um, you know, that was a big step down for me, you know, stepping down into more of a 1v1 player and focusing on myself. And uh, that was a big change for me. You know, I, I really... You know, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's, it helped me out, helped me become a better player. I don't have to worry about my teammates and calling strats. I can just focus on my gameplay, which is awesome. Um, secondly, there's a big tournament coming up called Hypestation that we're pre preparing for. January 20th, look it up, hypestation.com. 
Don't really have the time right now to go into detail about that, but I will in another video. I'm really looking forward to that tournament, though. That's going to kind of, you know, show where we're at as a team, and I think that's going to be a big milestone for us. Um, but that pretty much wraps it up. These are the scrim highlights. I, uh, I'm sure you guys, hope you guys were watching the gameplay, but um, we won. In the videos I record, I didn't record every map. Uh, there's an extra four or five maps if I stopped recording because I'm an idiot. Um, but we won, we won three out of the four maps that I recorded here. I think we ended up taking the series seven to four. Um, but that wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, lots more videos to come from this series. Thank you guys so much for your subscriptions. It means the world. Shout out to Gold Glove for really helping me out. And um, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. Lots more to come. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.